What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fix It Garage. And today, we're not gonna be working on the Fix It Garage Subaru. Today, we're gonna be working on this 2008 Mercedes-Benz E350. What are we doing to it today? We're gonna to be putting a turbo on it. No, no, we're not putting a turbo on it. Maybe someday. Um, today, actually, all we're gonna do is we're gonna change out the spark plugs, the coils, and the air filter. This is my uh, father-in-law's car, and I promised I'd do a little bit of maintenance on. So, let's get right to work. So, here's all the parts. We've got our six coils, we've got our two filters, and our six spark plugs. So let's go ahead and start tearing this car apart so we can put all this stuff in. guys so we got the air box off coils out spark plugs out so let's have a look at some stuff so here's the old spark plugs they don't look too bad but I know that Mercedes has a they have to be replaced more often per the Mercedes maintenance schedule and then here are the new spark plugs nice shiny and new we'll put those in here in a minute also they we have the old I don't know if you can see it, but it's a Defi coil pack. And then we have some nice brand new Defi coil packs we're gonna put in. Uh, this kit we got off the internet came with new coil packs, spark plugs, and air filters. So right now we're gonna go ahead and get these air filters out, change them out for the new ones. One side's done, now we're gonna do the other side. filters in so now this is ready to go back in the car 
So next we're gonna put the new spark plugs in, we're gonna put the coils in, then we'll put the air filter back on. Before we do, I just wanna show you how simple this was today. So you can do all of this with just a few household tools. You're gonna need a T27 Torx bit for the coil packs. You're gonna need a T20 for the air filters. I recommend using an extension on your ratchet or you can use like a screw handle tool. You're also gonna need your standard 5.8 spark plug socket and extension. I like to use this little stubby ratchet once I get the spark plugs loose because I can spin them out a lot quicker. And obviously you're gonna need a regular size ratchet to break things loose and to tighten them. So this is a fairly easy project. Now that we have it all torn apart, let's go ahead and put it all back together.
guys so as you can see we got the car all up and running next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna button everything up we're gonna take it out we're gonna wash it and then we're gonna give it back to my father-in-law that effectively ends today's episode of fix it garage i want to thank all of you guys for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you did please remember to smash that like button remember to leave a comment down below and please remember to click that subscribe button our goal is still 100 subscribers for another subscriber special I hope that you guys, I want to thank all of you guys for the support and for watching today. And remember, on cars like this, and on cars like my father-in-law's, there's no such thing as a finished project.